Hi, welcome to Believer's Channel. I'm Pastor Russ, and today I'm going to be talking about signs of his second coming. And before we get into that, I'd like to remind you that there's a thumbs up button, and we appreciate it if you hit that. And if you aren't a subscriber yet, please hit the subscribe button and uh, become a subscri subscriber with us. It's kind of like being a partner, and you always know where we're going to be, what we're doing. And uh, I appreciate it very much because uh, YouTube, they kind of measure what you're doing and how well you're doing. And uh, it just opens up more doors for us to minister. And uh, so we appreciate you and we want to bless you. And by doing that, you can be blessing us. And we just ask that in Jesus name. Now let's talk about the signs of the second coming. This is important. And it's important because you're supposed to look up and know that his redemption is nigh, that he's near, he's at the door. So let's look at what's happening in the, in the, in the realm of space. You know, in, God uses space as his billboard that tells us uh, what he's doing and how close we are to the second coming. So let's see what the Bible says about it. In Luke 21, 11, it says, And there will be great earthquakes in various places, in famines and pestilences, and there will be fearful sights of, and great signs from heaven. Verse 25 says, There will be signs in the sun, moon, and stars. On the earth nations will be in anguish and perplexity at the roaring of the tossing of the sea. People will faint from terror apprehensive of what is coming on the world, for the heavenly bodies will be shaken. God has shaken the heavenly bodies. He's going to shake this earth. He's going to shake things up, and he's been doing it. Now, people may say, well, you know, there's been earthquakes and pestilences and famine uh, for hundreds of years, and, and I'd have to say, yes, you're right, but that isn't the way it works. The way it works is you look back on them hundreds of years and it was once in a while here, once in a while there. Now that we're close to the coming of Christ, these things are happening more and more often. Jesus related it to a woman having birth pains, getting ready to deliver. And as she got rid of more, more and more close to the time of uh, delivering the baby, the birth pains would get closer and closer and closer until all of a sudden they were like one on top of the other and the water broke and the baby was born. And we're in that third trimester right now uh, as far as the second coming of Jesus. So you're going to see more and more earthquakes. Uh, you can look on uh, History Channel or Science Channel and pull up earthquakes and you'll see how they're almost doubling of what used to be uh, or tripling even. And you'll see where the earthquakes are causing tsunamis. And you, you'll see also if you if you pull up the sun, uh, right up on the sun and its changes, you're going to find out there's been a lot of changes in the sun, that there's things going on that you never thought about. In the moon, we've had blood moons, and that's one of the signs. So know that Jesus is standing at the door ready to come. He's shaken these things. He's shaken up the universe to get our attention, to, to get us to come to him and give our life to him. Now, where it talks about people in anguish and uh, in terror and fear, these people have not given their life to Christ. See, when a believer looks up and sees these things, he, they know, well, Jesus is about to come. Yeshua, Jesus, come take me home. Rapture me off of this planet. And that's what he will do. He'll rapture you off the planet before uh, all this terrible stuff hits uh, that's beyond your imagination. You can't imagine how bad it will be. And it's just like uh, Noah and the flood. He took Noah and his family, which were the believers, he, he took them above it all. He put them in a boat, took them above it all, and water drowned everybody and everything. So he always takes us out. He takes us above it. But the ones 
who have not repented, who don't have a relationship with the living God, uh, who have lied, cheat, cheated, and stealed, who were power-hungry, crazy people, um, they are going to be in total fear of what is coming. They'll be able to see it. They'll know that the Lord is coming. And they'll cry out for the rocks to cover them up so the Lord can't see him or they can't see him. Either way, it's going to happen. And these people are, are going to be severely punished for what they've done. And not accepting Jesus, you, you just end up in the lake of fire. And uh, so I'm telling you here today, we're, you, you can look at what's going on in the world. Look at what's going on in the United States. You can tell that there's a shaking going on to bring people to Christ. Come to Jesus today. Come to Jesus today. If you've already come to Jesus and you have a relationship, it doesn't hurt to renew it. And uh, that way you, any sins you might have committed you don't even know about will be covered. So say the prayer with me today, the sinner's prayer. Do this, do it now, and live it. Just live it. You'll find out you're much happier and you won't be worried about this stuff. There are people going around scared to death. Oh, I'm going to get COVID and I'm going to die. Da, da, da. Hey, believers who believe in Yeshua Jesus, they can, they can be in total happiness and comfort knowing that God has taken care of them. That they have the Holy Spirit within them helping them. So you need that too. So why don't you just repeat after me right now. Say, Father God, I'm a sinner. I believe in what you did for me. I believe Jesus died for me on the cross and that his blood washes me clean. I believe that you will save me and take me away from all this stuff when it starts to happen, that you will protect me and take me into heaven. Father, I just ask that you forgive me. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus, amen. Now you said that prayer, all the garbage in your life is behind you. All the sin, all the terrible stuff is behind you. And uh, all I can say is don't look in your rear view mirror because don't dig it back up. Just leave it go, it's all gone. The only thing that matters in this life is your relationship with Jesus, what you do for him. That is forever lasting. You know, getting power, like these politicians want, want, to, want to rule the earth, they want to rule a country, they can't take that to heaven. When they die, it's, it's behind them. Uh, none of it means anything. Their history, everything, will eventually be burned up. But the one who accepts Jesus and lives for him, brings other people to Christ, tells people about Jesus, just uh, donates money to the cause of Jesus. Those people will be in heaven and all that comes with them and they will be rewarded for that. So do that. I, I look back on my life and I say, as far as I'm concerned, I wasted it. And I, I, I was, I've been considered a, a, a top sax player in the United States uh, and I, I made it in the money business. Everything I did was successful. But guess what? I regret it all because I can't take it with me. It means nothing. It absolutely means nothing. And once you hit my age, you look back and you find out everything you ever did meant nothing unless you did it for God. Now I brought my daughter, my, my family to Jesus and I consider that the greatest thing I've ever done. So just keep that in mind. Keep it in mind that the shaking that we see going on is to, will shake up the world, but it will not shake up believers. You can look up and say, glory, heaven is near. I thank you for joining in with us. I, I really, you really bless us when you subscribe and you, you really bless us when you do a thumbs up. And I can't tell you how happy that makes me. So, um, Please tune in every time we have something up. Uh, we really love you all, and we say this in the name of Yeshua Jesus. May God bless you. 
May he keep you and may his face shine upon you in Yeshua Jesus' name. Amen. God bless now.